With the distressing news that the Badger Cull has started again, I4 staff headed out to see the valuable work of the wounded Badger patrols. Each evening, law-abiding members of the public carry out peaceful patrols in the countryside. We are in Somerset uh, because the Badger Cull started a week ago. Uh, in, in England there are two pilot calls, one in Gloucester and one in Somerset. They started last year. We visited last year the Gloucester one, we visited this year the Somerset one. The Somerset Badger Patrol meets every night between 7 and 8 at the Williton Car Park. Sara is one of the organisers. Yeah, everything we do is legal, so we stick to footpaths, the lanes, um, we wear high vis, we inform the police where we're going. Um, if if we come across anyone, there's no intimidatory tactics. We're really, really trying to be the good guys out there because we need the public on our side. The group meets up, decides on routes, and they all get kitted up. The coal contractors are tasked to shoot badges at night, and that is why the volunteers wear high visibility jackets in order to draw attention to their presence. As the sun sets, the patrollers split up and drive out into the countryside. Andy and Michelle, who are experienced patrollers, lead one group. I'm a landscape gardener. Uh, I've got my 16 and 18 year old children here with me who were out all last year during the coal zone as well. Uh, Michelle here. I'm a veterinary nurse um, and um, lots of other people come out and um, we've had kind of people just like kind of admin work or um, nurses, um, just lots of different people and different walks of life and different ages and abilities so we tend to try and um, adjust the walks depending on who we're with so whether it's a smaller or shorter walk or flatter area so it depends on their abilities as well. The volunteers walk in the cull area along roads and footpaths, listening for any gunshots or other signs that will alert them that the cull contractors are nearby. During the patrols, the team may encounter a wounded badger that has been shot but is still alive, which can then be taken to a vet to ensure it receives the help it needs. The Somerset Badger Patrol was formed more than two years ago. Amanda, another of the organisers, has seen the group grow more advanced. Well, we certainly know the countryside really well now. We know hot spots, we know low risk areas, we know a hell of a lot actually. Thankfully, this particular night patrol ended without significant incident. The wounded badger patrols, both in Gloucester and Somerset, they need people. They need people to volunteer, to come and join them every night, or to help them from home. Sometimes they just need help from home or to donate money or equipment, they need equipment. So if you are out there, you want to help, you, you already help, but you want to do more, uh, contact them. Contact both the Gloucester group and the Somerset group because they definitely need people.